If any of you have any questions, well, you can Google it. About six years ago, the next guest and I had an opportunity to talk on a panel in good old Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, about diversity, inclusion, and social media in the travel space. So much has changed since then, and I am elated to see Greg DeShields blossom in his career as the executive director of Tourism Diversity Matters, also known as TDM. TDM is committed to empowering the tourism and events industry to change and evolve as we work to advocate for an inclusive and diverse workforce and guest experience. Education is the first step toward affecting change and ensuring dignity and respect in the travel process. Please welcome to the stage from the fabulous city of Philadelphia, Greg DeShields. Right, Hi, everyone. Oh, where is all the love? Now, I have to tell you, I'm a dedicated, hardcore hospitality tourism person. And as a former educator, one of the things I believe in our industry, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, is all about making money. So when we say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, we need a lot more energy. I mean, you expect that of the people who work for you. So let's try it a little bit as if we were looking at our P&L statement and we wanted to find a way to make it grow. Good afternoon. good afternoon! Oh, really? I couldn't even take that to an ATM machine and get cash back. Let's try one more time. Good afternoon! Good afternoon. All right, we're on our way. Thank you very much. And I don't have much time to take you through it, but you can certainly see that my presentation is one that hopefully will bring you a great deal of energy and excitement around this introduction of your DEI journey. I will tell you that the purpose of today's discussion is to let you know that diversity, equity, and inclusion is not this marathon that people talk about. It's not that sprint that people talk about. It's a journey. When people say it becomes part of your DNA, that is absolutely true. And as it relates to your organization, you get on, you get off in ways that make a difference to you. So as we were talking about me doing this presentation today, one of the things I thought about was I have done like a million PowerPoint presentations and I refuse to do that with you. I just wanted to speak to you honestly about what my experience has been with DEI and give you some, I guess because it's a journey, some uh, pit stops of how you can go about pursuing your own journey around DEI. So I do serve as the executive director of Tourism Diversity Matters. We're a national organization that focuses on diversity, equity, and inclusion for our entire industry. Uh, we look at a variety of different ways to provide best practices and resources and tactics for individuals like yourself to make better, more strategic decisions about how you approach diversity, equity, and inclusion. You probably hear a lot of people say, is it about race? Is it about ethnicity? Is it about unconscious bias? All of that's part of it, but more importantly, it's your journey. And I always say that this journey starts at knowing where you start. And to that degree, I always encourage individuals, organizations, to determine your own readiness. Where are you in this process and what can you put into it? And then more importantly, do some form of assessment so that you know exactly what you may need to do as you go forward. So let me tell you a little bit about my journey. I started this whole DEI thing in the late 1980s, early 1990s. And, and, and to some degree, it maybe even began when I was in college because when I graduated, I was recruited by Hyatt Hotels through their program that was really to support diverse candidates minorities who wanted to get into the hospitality industry. And I had no idea. All I wanted to do was run a hotel. But ultimately, I found my way into the industry. And you know, the most revealing thing for me about my journey was learning what I didn't know. Now, I don't know how many of you have had a 360 evaluation done. If you had, can you raise your hand? You probably still have the bruises from it, right? Like all those horrible people who just want to tell you you're a horrible person. And I went through that process and it was rather enlightening for me what I did not know about other people. I always felt that I was someone who was very inclusive in my thinking. I embraced a variety of different people, but I never thought for a minute that I didn't have a real connection with other people and understand things from their viewpoint. 
So after I got my 360 evaluation, I quickly learned I have to immerse myself in a variety of different communities so that I could become much more educated about, in fact, what others were able to bring to the table and how I could become more competent about that. So I became a member of our Hispanic Chamber in Philadelphia, our LGBT Chamber, our African American Chamber, and our Asian Chamber. So you know what I found out? It's the same in every single chamber. We, not, we want members and we want money. But beyond that, people just in general have the same issues. We don't necessarily know where individuals are and where in fact they need to go. So for me, my journey was one that was self-awareness and most importantly, having a deeper appreciation of the value that diversity, equity, and inclusion can bring to an organization or to you as a person. So I said that I would share with you some of the pit stops or some of the roadway ends that might be along your journey in DEI. So there are about eight of them. I want to just make sure before my time is over that I've covered them with you. So the first stop when it comes to it is taking into account uh, how you can make your journey visible. Whether it's big or whether it's little, it doesn't matter. Engage people. Even if you want to put a sign out that says, hey, we do DEI, it's a way of helping people know that it's something that you do and not just carry it as an extra thing that you do. The second thing is more about the conversation, realizing that you need to find a way to talk about what you do and engage in conversations with others who can tell you about what they do. It ultimately helps you to get better at how you go about approaching DEI. What's important in the space of DEI is data. We always should rely on a credible source. I gotta tell you, there are so many people who have an opinion about DEI. And when I ask, where'd you get that from? I don't know, I was kinda looking at it on social media, or I don't know, I was watching TV and I heard someone say such and such, but data has to really support it. So I would encourage you on your journey that you always, always push for people to be very specific and share how they cite whatever data it is. You know, the one thing I would encourage you to do is be creative, like try something. You know, look at it from the perspective of let's just put a beta effort out and find out if we can make a difference and improve our efforts around DEI. I would also say never do it alone. Someone has to be with you on this journey. And I think journeys are a whole lot more enjoyable when somebody is sitting next to you and kind of chat with them back and forth. So I would encourage you to think about who can I bring on this journey with me and let me see how we can both work together in order to move forward. So the one thing that all of you should be cued into is that diversity, equity, and inclusion, it's good for society, we know that. But more importantly, it's good for business. It's how you get your strategic competitive advantage in order to gain more customers, to grow your bottom line, develop new market segments. So you have to embrace the idea that DEI is really about how it's good for your business and how your organization can grow. I would encourage you to think very much though about the idea of how you develop a roadmap. What is it that you'd like to do? DEI can't just be something that you do because it feels good or it might be fun. There should be a deliberate effort that you're trying to achieve. So I would ask that you do that as well. And then probably the last thing on it, which is the most important one, it has to be measurable. It has to have goals. We have to be able to look at it as any of our business strategies and make a decision to say, I'm going to focus on getting more of this type of customer or I'm going to focus on more greater efforts around inclusion because it is going to make a difference in my business. And I'm going to evaluate it similar as if I get a new piece of technology or if we get a new type of route that we launch. We want to evaluate it to make sure we've made the right decision. You know, at the bottom line, diversity, equity, and inclusion is not easy work. It's something that you really want to put effort in in a way that it'll make it a difference for not just your business, but your customers. How can you build a more authentic way for customers to feel that there's absolutely no reason why I would not choose your business? And as a matter of fact, I would choose your business over someone else's business because you get it. You understand how important this is, not just to society, but to business. So as each and every one of you kind of leap from this, I would challenge you to think about 
how you're approaching your business. Have you thought about how you talk about diversity? Have you thought about how if you add one additional aspect to the launch of a new product or service, or even if we just look at the basic fundamental of how has my business evolved? If I looked at my business last year and I look at it this year, what do I can do that can make a big difference in it? Diversity, equity, and inclusion is not for everyone. But if it is for you, it offers you a great opportunity to make a big difference in your business. I encourage you to think of it as, once again, a journey. It'll be a part of your DNA. You'll get on, you'll get off. There'll be these incredible stations or rest stops that you can visit. But I think each and every time that you stop and build and develop a new aspect to your organization around diversity, equity, and inclusion, you'll see that it will provide you the competitive advantage that you're seeking. So once again, my name is Greg DeShields. I'm with Tourism Diversity Matters. It is my pleasure to be with you today, and I thank all of you for the time. Take care.